Welcome to episode 10 of Getting Down with GarageBand. In this episode, we are going to look at some of the specifics involved when exporting our project out of GarageBand. Here, we are looking at a project I've recently completed. It's all arranged and mixed the way I like, and I simply want to be able to listen to it on a CD or in my MP3 player. Let's look under the Share menu at the top. The most common option to use here is Export Song to Disk. This will let us create a full quality reproduction of our song, which is great for burning a CD or keeping as a master copy. Also, we have the option here to compress our song into MP3 to use in MP3 players. Generally, when creating MP3s, it's best to set the quality to a higher setting, or to use a custom settings to get the best sound and size for your needs. Now, GarageBand also gives us some shortcuts in this process. If we know that we want the song to be burned onto a CD, we can simply choose Burn Song to CD from the Share menu. We just need to make sure that we have a blank CD in before doing so, but this takes a step out of the process for us. We also have a shortcut in the Share menu for iTunes as well. This will give us the options we need to properly tag the song information so it shows up properly in iTunes. One more feature that can help us here is located under the Preference menu. We can input our information that we want to use to label our song or album titles here, and GarageBand will automatically fill in the blanks when we make our MP3s. If we were working on a video project, we have the option here as well to export our song directly into iDVD for authoring. Now that you know what GarageBand can do for you, experiment with it, and you will always have the tools you need to create great sounding projects. That's it for the series, but feel free to review these episodes and use this information to get the most out of GarageBand.